right? As you can see, we are at the announcements tab of the official Discord of the game. And as you can tell, part 2 of the enemies 2.0 experimental beta is almost here. Most of the new things are at 100 or 90 percent completion. But uh, what I wanted to talk about is all these new spoilers we've been getting. First of all, we got the new drone trees that have been reworked. This is what the trees look like. This is the base tree, the defense drones and the assault drones. We'll just go more in depth with each of those. It is like there aren't any, any numbers or anything of that sort because those would be changed during the experimental but the base versions of the actual mechanics of the mod have been completed and we can check them out. <coughs> first of all, we got the drones unlocking the first mod. Assemble and deploy automated drones. Now unlocks the assault and defense drones. So basically all you need is to get this mod and the other two trees are already unlocked from the next level. You don't need to spend any more points going to the last. So that means all you need is to get that mod and these two trees become available. So with just two points of investment you can get a defen the defense drones or the sound drones. Basically if you get the drone specialist within three levels you can get to four drones and the defense drones. Next we got a brand new mod and a new mechanic. Subsumption bypass drone assembly time by spending hull and shields. Now I'm not sure if this mechanic is going to work automatically or whether you have to trigger it manually. Most if that is the case I do think that would be the hotkey that you would use to manually deploy the drones. That would mean that the ally and drone deploying deployment will have to be separated into two different hotkeys. Or if it works automatically, it will just stop working once your hull and shields get too low, like a lot of other mechanics. Next one, we got the Grace Protocol, another new mechanic. Drones are reborn with one hull when destroyed. And now don't quote me at this, but I think the discussion was about that this ability is going to have a cooldown, like a hidden cooldown, maybe like a minute or so. So once the drone is reborn, it won't reborn again until the cooldown for it has been refreshed or until you have to redeploy it or something like this. Anyway, this would make it so that like a random pull arc explosion or like a random comet hit on a bulwark that wipes out all your 20 drones in one go won't leave you vulnerable for the immediate next wave rather you have a better chance of surviving this would be useful for both the defense and the offense drones another thing I wanted to point out is that the subsumption along with the grace protocol both of those might have a chance to actually enhance making a build centered around an architect drone which is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time or maybe it won't be, we'll have to see it later on but on paper the potential is there advanced engineering, drone power and hull skills with your level the good old mode next off the assault drones Increased firepower and gain formation pursuit. So the pursuit of formation is directly built in within the tree. Within the with the first mod. So all you need to do is get the first drone upgrade, then you another level for the south drones, and within two points you can have the pursuit formation. Which could yield a, uh, in a very easy early game if you do opt in for the shielded constructs as well. First off, terminal directive. Destroy drones accelerate toward enemies on a collision course. Immediately the most obvious 
synergy is with burnout reactors and self destruction and more like an extension of the pursuit drones I, I would think the pursuit drones are the way to go with the terminal directive because the drones are already close nearby the enemies formation battalion oh actually I wonder if the grace protocol would make it so that those can can once they go on a collision course they would crash with the enemy then immediately respawn because of the grace protocol or maybe once I've, after they've been respawned with the grace protocol then they will go on a terminal directive that would mean that subsumption with combi in a combo with terminal directive would make it seem like you're just constantly launching drones effectively creating a grenade like weapon anyway next one formation battalion ha hit scan beams converge and devastate enemies so this formation unlocks laser beam drones and actually I forgot to mention that the missile drones have been removed from the game completely to be honest I'm glad th this change was made the obnoxious sound effect they used to trigger uh, each time the missiles hit was just too much to take in all the time and besides they weren't that effective even with the all the changes to targeting that were made in the previous patch they still weren't that effective and the last one fleet commander most likely would add another two drones like it used to do or if it, if it doesn't not sure it doesn't say maybe it no longer adds drones two drones are promoted to commanders with increased stats commander supply vulnerability to enemies I would think regardless of whether you got 20 or just two you would always have two drones that are commanders until you have none so the lower the, your drones get in like in amounts you still keep your two commanders most likely the ones closest to your body so so these are the assault ones let's go to the defense built in with the defense drones now comes in the rampart formation so basically for just two points you gain access to rampart and for another one through the drone specialist mod you get four drones plus the rampart formation and maybe even a fifth drone if this one un unlocks another one so that means for just three points you gain a very good defense especially for builds that uh, utilize self shot weapons or, is, or other builds that like to get leaf on the wing this will be extremely good now arc barrier your drones protect you from blast or burn damage if they are between you and the attack another new mechanic blast or burn damage the first things that come to mind the burn damage from the tracer projectiles is extremely annoying and this would make short work of it or the blast damage from the war bringers is also very annoying because it can destroy your drones in one go but this would protect you especially good synergy obviously with the grace protocol next thing counter pulse your drones gain an attack counter pulse counter pulse triggers on a cooldown or when your drone takes damage so I would think the cooldown for counter pulse would reset every time it's triggered regardless whether it's damage or not but there isn't any cap on how often you can trigger this just like the way it is now I wonder if they actually decided to remove the very freshly integrated interaction with counter pulse and discharge 
where the cell damage from discharge would trigger counter pulse. It doesn't have many implications, but it's still made for a unique new build variety. Like a couple of new builds could come out of this, and I don't see any reason why I would to take it out. It wasn't in overpowered or anything of that sort. Anyway, reconstitution. Your drones regenerate hull. Again, we go back to the architect drone. So the later the game goes on, the harder they would regen due to advanced engineering because drone hull scales with your level. So reconstitution becomes even more potent in the late game. When they are destroyed, they create an armor fragment power up. Oh, actually, the reconstitution becomes even more potent in the late game because the base, the, your drone base hull would be higher, they would regen more, but the enemy's the enemy damage scale as well. So, so so. When they are destroyed, they create an armor fragment power up. I would think this new kind of power up. Those armor fragments will be something like uh, just the, the, the armor stacks you can get uh, from the core shooting tree. Also, this will be the second power up introduced finally. And if I am not mistaken, there are many other power ups planned for the future for release. And that's about it, these are the true mods because it took me a little while to do the video. There's already been another announcement with another rework, which is the Ataraxia super mod, which I wasn't at all aware is in need of a rework or something like this. And this is just like one version, that one potential version that this mod could turn into. First of all, the first thing that comes to my mind is no longer Ataraxia provides attraction power. The good old bonus that scales your global damage, hull, shields and thrust per unspent point is still there. The new stuff are these two point, three points. Why we have five or more unspent upgrade points plus 30% body gear powers. Basically amplifying evolution in the niches even further while you've got 10 or more unspent points the bonus increases by 50 percent and while you've got 20 or more unspent points you permanently gain a hyper boost power up basically further solidifying the position this mod is supposed to take which is to fi to be the final the finisher for pure and well taught and focused builds won't be either actually won't be a mod you would really want on a hybrid builds but completely focused builds would really like to get this especially on a builds that don't require a lot of mods to be effective and especially on bodies where the evolutionary niches actually do matter a lot. Like for example, Ataraxia on the Leviathan now would be abs absolutely nuts if you are able to stack 20 or more levels. That mean, means that pretty much you would only want to get no more than 30, to between 30 to 35 points for your own build before you start stacking levels for Taraxa. That means by the time you get level 55, you would gain the full effect of Ataraxia. Usually for reference, level 55, you, you would be something in the source of wave 350 or 400. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.